There's a kind of secret and really easy way to install WordPress sites that you might not know about. And the best part is, it just takes a few clicks. There is no manual labor, there's no uploading, and there's no database configuration that you have to do manually. And I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. Hi, my name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Now let's get started. Depending which host you're using, this install process is gonna be a little different. I'm gonna show you three different hosts in this video. Hopefully one of them shows you how the one-click install would work on your host. And it is more than one click, it's just that when this feature was released years and years ago, they called it the one click WordPress install, but there is more than one click. But you don't have to upload files, you don't have to create a MySQL database, you don't have to link that database to WP config file. It's just way easier with these few clicks install, let's call it that. So on SiteGround, all we do is we go to websites, click on new website. I'm gonna choose temporary domain, you choose whichever one is right for you, but the process once you pick one of these three is the same. Continue. I'm gonna choose start a new website. I'm gonna choose WordPress. Add some login details. That's an email address. Click on continue. Password's too short. Okay, give me a good password. It's gonna upsell us to the site scanner. I'm gonna skip that. Click on add in the top right here if you wanna add it. And now the website's being created. In a few moments, our website's gonna be live at that temporary URL that we saw a moment ago. We'll come back to that. Inside of Bluehost, we go to the Websites tab, click on Add Site. We're gonna choose Install WordPress, and then click on Continue. Let's give it a name, and then click Continue. Enter domain name, use a temporary one for the purposes of this video. And now WordPress is being installed. Lickety split, I'll come back to that as well so we can see what that looks like and this is a more traditional cpanel setup if we go down to the bottom we have our one click installs this is where the name originally came from and you can install all these things with one click and wordpress is right here although it still takes more than one click so technically i clicked it once right there but i still have to do more things i have to pick a username and password and a domain name possibly let's choose this domain right here Click on install. So that was three, four clicks. The one click install button, the click to open the drop down menu, the click on the drop down menu, and then the click to install it. So that one was four clicks. Bluehost was about the same, and then SiteGround had the most clicks. And they're all still working. Demo site right here, installing WordPress. And this one's done already. Let's go to this URL, this domain name. And this URL I've, I've set up for demo stuff I'm doing for making videos. And now I have to do these clicks, actually. Officially installing WordPress. You just fill in that short form, then click on Install WordPress. And bada bing, bada boom, WordPress is installed. Let's not log in right now. Let's go back to the main domain, and here it is. Not so easy. The one-click install was on traditional cPanel hosts. These new fancy C panels is a little bit more work. Well, these guys don't make us fill out the, the form we just did. Site ground is also done. Let's view this site. They're all gonna have the 2024 theme installed. And I didn't save the um, the highly secure password site ground forced us to use, so I'm not gonna be able to log into that one. But that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose is to see WordPress is installed lickety split and this bluehost one this is their own interstitial page here it's interesting how they do all this to make it so difficult i'm an expert at wordpress it's a business site continue setup uh sure this one demo site for the name and then Next step on the top right here. Oh, there's a lot of questions. Preparing your Bluehost Design Studio. Huh, interesting. This little Design Studio area. I'm gonna exit out of it and go back to WordPress. This is our more standard WordPress layout that we all know and love. So Bluehost forces you to go through a whole bunch more clicks as does SiteGround. But the traditional cPanel install like this host had here, our site was up in no time at all. And this one I do know the password for, so let's quickly log in to show you 
it's a legit WordPress site. We're not messing around here. This is the real deal. And we're in. So that's how you use the one-click install. That's no longer one-click, but it's still easier than what you used to have to do when you're doing it manually. And if you want to get a hold of my super popular 17-point WordPress launch checklist that's been downloaded over 100,000 times over the years, there's a link to it in the description down below. It's going to help you flawlessly launch every one of your WordPress sites from now on. So check that out. It's totally free. There's a link in the description. Now that you've installed WordPress, you're going to want to think about keeping your WordPress site as fast as possible, which starts from day one. Check out this playlist up here to help you. You also may want to think about securing your website to make sure hackers don't get in. Check out this playlist for help on that. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.